Hey everyone. So I decided to do a little bit of an introduction for this video because this month is very special to me because it is National Stationery Month. So I am doing a stationery theme for this month, but it's not just a stationery theme. I am doing a stationery showdown because if you are not in the US, uh, it is March Madness, which is basically a big long basketball tournament for college basketball. It is something that I have always loved because I am a huge sports fan. And so I thought it would be really fun to do a stationary showdown instead of a March Madness. Thank you to my patrons who came up with that name for me and I'm really excited about it. So more information is gonna come on February 26th when I fill out the whole bracket, but it's gonna include a lot of interaction from you guys. I will be doing a lot of polls in my YouTube community tab and also on Instagram stories. So keep tuned for that. And we're gonna find out who is gonna be the victor of all of stationery in the month of March. So more information to come. Uh, and here is my setup. Okay, so here we are going into March. I'm always confused when I start the next month of March because like I feel like February just started, but that's because I put these videos out two weeks ahead of time, so February really did just start. But it's okay because I really am excited about this month's theme. I told you about it in the introduction, but basically what is happening this month is I am doing a stationary showdown where I create an entire bracket and then have you guys vote on the head-to-head -head games, quote unquote, just like in March Madness, so that um, I can figure out who is the stationary victor. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be very interactive. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this for the entire month. And um, all of the voting is gonna start on March 1st. I know that March Madness doesn't start on March 1st, but it goes until April. So I wanna make sure that this is done by the end of March so that we have a victor. So anyways, so I needed this calendar because uh, mine and my husband's schedules are freaking insane right now. I do a lot of traveling for work and he has a lot of different um, schedules and on calls and all that kind of stuff. So we really need to have some sort of concrete system that I can look at at a glance. And so that is where these calendars come to play. And I have my little Tombow set over here on the side uh, to go with the stationary theme and I decided to do all blue this month with like a little bit of teal. I will probably mix in a bunch of colors as we go because stationary, one of the best things about stationary is it's a whole bunch of colors, but I wanted to keep some sort of consistency so I have um, a lot of blues that I am bringing in from Tombow and a lot of teals and things like that. So um, the spaces to the left, like I said, are for mine and my husband's schedules. The top one is for mine. The bottom one is for his schedule, just so that I can write different on-call days for him when I'm doing inspections for mine, all of that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of things are pretty up in the air. So I know that there's going to be a lot of traveling if things keep going this way. So I really want to make sure that I have spaces to include washi tape and things like that. And then I decided to include a quote. It's been a while since I've done like a nice inspirational quote. So I decided to do this one from Voltaire. Writing is the painting of the voice. And I thought that that was perfect for a stationary month where there is a lot of focus on writing and writing tools and what you're writing on and things like that. And I just did a little bit of a drop shadow with the white jelly roll as well on the word voice. And now I'm just gonna go ahead in and number. And right about here is where I realized that I overdid it on this calendar. So I decided just to write April at the bottom and keep going with the numbering because why not? Um, I will say that 
theoretically this makes sense because of my work schedule. Uh, I could potentially be on travel for the last week of March and so I, I don't want to just do two days. I want to do the whole week if that is necessary. So uh, that is the lie I'm telling myself and I hope you guys enjoy it. That washi tape by the way is from Simply Gilded. So I'm just using my different blues here to do little post-it notes and so like I have the post-it note coming off of the page just a little bit that's why it is angled like that and this is going to be my mood lettering page if you don't know what my mood lettering page is it is where instead of doing colors for my different moods I do lettering it helps me practice my lettering it's a lot of fun to do I, I think it I get really creative while I do this and so I really enjoy my mood lettering pages and I think it's made me a better artist, a better letter overall. So you can see that there's a post-it note already there. Uh, I decided to bring this post-it note in from Simply Gilded. I just really, I don't know, I love this post-it note. If you've seen my orders or if you've ordered something from my shop lately, uh, the, that is the sticky note that I've been using. I'm almost out of them which is kind of sad but I really like the colors so I decided just to bring it in. That's another reason why I thought like okay well I'll stick with blues for the beginning and to get some consistency but then I'll probably bring in a bunch of other colors through stickers and things like that. I've just really wanted kind of a rainbow month. And then these little habit tracker stickers are from my shop. Uh, they are the drop shadow ones. You can also get them in the monoline ones. You can get them either a Monday start or a Sunday start. These in particular are a Monday start. Sorry that I'm doing half of this off of the camera. I had to reposition my camera and um, obviously I did not reposition it very well. And then I felt like there was a bunch of empty space when I was doing this so I just decided to write healthy habits um, for my trackers just because that is one of the focus that I've been doing this year and I use a sharpie to write over the washi tape. I changed one of my trackers this month instead of saying eating healthy to put low carb because sometimes I feel like I'm not really eating healthy when I'm doing low carb but it is healthier than what I'm doing so I don't know I just wanted to kind of make that little bit of a distinction between eating healthy and eating low carb um, and then I'm doing my body focus page as per usual again that sticky note is from Simply Gilded it has the gold metallic on it. Most of the rest of the month I have a bunch of silver stuff but that's fine. I'm, I'm not very particular about that. And then I just wrote in the 1st, the 15th, and the 31st. Uh, March goes to the 31st? Yeah, March goes to the 31st. I'm all sorts of paranoid now that I messed up my February setup since I put 31st instead of the 29th. So these stickers are left over from when I was uh, putting things in my shop and so I was doing like the listings and things like that. So these colors went really well with the theme so I decided to do that. Uh, they are little Tombow page dividers so I have a bunch of different colors. I have um, all of the main colors of the rainbow. I have the pink, red, orange, green, blue, purple. Okay, so I think I missed out on yellow. I don't really remember. <laughs> Either way, um, these stickers are from my shop. I also have them in the mild liner page divider form. And I just thought it would be fun to bring in these types of stickers because they are stationary. And um, yeah, that is what I'm doing this month. <laughs> so I thought these would be a little fun addition to do on my master task page. I'm also bringing in another one of those little habit trackers. For my content calendar later on I will put in the dates and uh, mark them off with a corresponding color dot 
so that I can mark in what types of content that I'm putting out for my patrons. If you want to join our Patreon, um, it's honestly a really fun community. They knew about this whole stationary showdown thing a long time ago. So if you want to join the Patreon, even at the dollar level, you get to find out what's going on behind the scenes for a lot of things. I mean, they knew about this like at least a month ago. So I really appreciate all of the feedback they've given me and they've helped me put together a list for all the stationary items that will be going head to head in the month of March for the stationary showdown. So props to my patrons for all that you do. I love you guys. So at first I thought I was done and then I realized that it would be nice to have a just page for the stationary showdown to jot down all my list. So basically what's happening is um, all of the stationary items are being split up into four divisions, kind of like they do for the March Madness tournament. And so I decided to do the divisions as different types of stationary items. So we have notebooks and planners, brush pens and highlighters, um, fine liners, and I think I put inked pens, so that's like fountain pens and things like that, and then other stationary tools and supplies, so that's, you know, things like rulers and things like that. So all of those items are going to be listed on here. There's uh, four divisions of 16 teams each, so I just did one through 16 on the side. And again, more information will come on February 26th when I do that video where I do the entire bracket. Thank you to my patrons for all that you guys do, and I hope you guys like this video. If you do, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see more from my channel. And tune in in all of March when we do the stationary showdown.